Do you remember the RC8? It was KTM's first and only go at building a superbike. And for a first attempt on a super sport from a company known for making off-roaders and roadsters, the RC8 was great. Even though it was down on power compared to its peers, those who rode it had never complained. But KTM stopped the production of the RC8 in 2015, never to be revived again. The sport bike scene at KTM has been relatively quiet since then, apart from some beginner sport bikes like the RC390 and RC200. However, that is about to change with the upcoming RC990. The first test mule was first spotted a few years back, but the new one seems to be much further along in development. While previous sightings of the RC990 were not uncommon, the latest photographs reveal significant advancements in the project since its last public appearance. Initially, the prototypes showcased MotoGP-inspired bodywork, which was directly borrowed from the RC8C track bike and featured a single projector-style headlight elegantly positioned within a horizontally divided nose fairing. However, the new test machine showcases a completely redesigned front fairing with eye-catching winglets, bearing a strong resemblance to its predecessor, the RC8. Particularly, the front fairing has an interesting feature, a vertically stacked headlight unit which appears to be screwed onto the fairing. Hopefully, the production example will have better design. Additionally, the front mudguard seems to have been optimized for maximum aerodynamic efficiency. The side panels of the fairing remains largely unchanged, except for a partition on the side slit that seems to hold an engine slider. Moreover, the pillion seat appears to be quite generous for a sport bike, adhering to a form-follows-function approach. But the thing that I'm most interested about the motorcycle is its new engine. KTM has been diligently developing an advanced parallel twin engine with a displacement of nearly 1000 cc. Notably, this new engine showcases substantial modifications, featuring distinct alterations to the head, engine casings, oil sump, and exhaust ports compared to the previously used 889 cc power plant. One noteworthy design change is the repositioning of the oil sump to create ample space for accommodating a larger catalytic converter, a measure taken to ensure compliance with more stringent emission regulations. As a result of these extensive enhancements and alterations, it's evident that this is effectively an entirely fresh and novel engine design by KTM. The specific details regarding its capacity are being kept confidential at the moment but there are strong rumors suggesting that the upcoming mill will have a displacement of approximately 1,000 cc. It is expected that this new engine will serve as the basis for the creation of at least three exciting new models, the 990 Duke, RC 990, and the 990 Adventure. As of now, specific power or torque figures for the new engine have not been disclosed. However, considering the 790 Duke's output of 105 bhp and the 890 Duke R's output of 121 bhp, it is reasonable to anticipate that this upcoming engine might generate approximately 140 to 145 bhp. This would place it in close proximity to the 955 cc L twin engine used in the Ducati Panigale V2 and Street Fighter V2 models. The RC990 draws inspiration from the RC8C track bike, which boasts a handmade chromoly steel trellis frame and top-of-the-line WP Apex Pro suspension components. The fuel tank integration into the subframe for weight centralization, a unique feature of the RC8C, may or may not be incorporated into the RC990. The braking components are of top-tier Brembo Stylmas. The success of the RC8C project engaging the market's reaction to a KTM sports bike is evident, as the first batch of 100 units sold out in just four and a half minutes in 2021. The second batch of 200 units sold even faster in just two and a half minutes. This aligns with KTM's direction as Mr. Stefan Pierce, KTM's boss, once expressed concerns about super-powerful motorcycles exceeding 200 bhp being too much for average riders on the streets. The RC990, with its sensible performance, caters to a broader range of riders. However, some may find it contradictory that KTM also produces the 1290 Super Duke, a 1.3-liter, 180-horsepower Super Naked, and the 1290 Adventure, a 160-horsepower adventure bike. 
These machines are incredibly powerful and is definitely a bit too much for the average rider, raising questions about the consistency of Mr. Pierce's statement. But despite all that, I am happy to see that KTM is finally launching a proper super sport machine after all these years. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.